How are you? Okay, Mo, I got Aaron coming way back. Oh, you got to put your, you got to get dressed. Okay, no worries. Okay. How are you? Okay, uh, what did you want? Okay, I got the information about your grandfather. Okay. It's, it's, I got quite a bit, but, you know, not quite everything, but I got quite a bit. Okay, I okay. got, oh, okay, what was the question that you was asking me? I, I was asking, um, what was my grandfather's mom's name? Okay. I got it here. Her name was Mariah. Mariah? M A R I A H and and uh, his father's name was Jim. Jim. Do you know their uh, last names? Willie, Mariah, and Jim Willie. Okay. And then, do you know where my grandfather was born? Yep. Place called Casilla. It's C A S C I L L A. Mississippi. Okay. He was born there, but he spent most of his childhood in Charleston, Mississippi. Okay. Charleston. But he was born. He was uh, -huh. but he was born in a place called Casilla, Mississippi. And, and do you know what year he was born in? Uh, July fifteenth, nineteen twenty-five. Well, I can't hear you. Oh, I can you hear me now. Uh huh. J July fifteenth, nineteen twenty-five. Uh huh. Okay. And then, uh, what did he do for a living? Do you know? I know he worked at Continental, Continental Can Company. I don't know what what kind. It was he, he was just a laborer, but he worked at Continental Can. Okay. That was a big can company, and uh, in, in, you know that I know about. Okay. I don't know what he did. It don't, you know, I don't know what he did, but I know he worked there for a long time. Okay. And then, um, and he served in you, and he served in the U.S. in the U.S. Army too. It don't say when, but he served uh, in U.S. Army. Okay. So uh, I guess it was. I don't know what what war it was because I don't know whether it was. I don't know. For yeah. Sure. I didn't. I know after he came out of the army, he, he met Christine, Christine Moore. And, okay. and, and they got married uh, April 24th, 1957. April 24th, 1957? 19... Mm-hmm. And how did they meet? Do you know? You know, I don't know how they met. I really don't know. Maybe I could ask Lula. Maybe she might know. I don't okay. know how they met. Okay. I really don't have to ask her. One of the cousins and see if she know. And then uh, he died of a heart attack. Is that right? Who? Uh, Grant, my grandfather. Yeah, uh -huh. he died of a heart attack. Heart attack. Because he was in the house when that happened. Wow. And what year mm -hmm. was that? He died February second, nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. He's been uh, dead 32 years. I didn't realize how long he'd been dead. Wow. That's as old as I am because I was born in 89. Uh -huh. I'm 32. That's, uh -huh. that's wild. Uh-huh. Wow. And then um, a few questions I had about Granny was who was, and you, you answered a little bit last time, but now that I'm recording, it'd be nice to have it on here. Who was Granny's mother? What was her name? Okay, I got it. Wait a minute. Her mother was named Cora Lee. Her father was Elicious Bernard. It's, but her mother's name was Cora C O R A Lee. And, and her father was Elicious E L I C I O U S Bernard. Bernard. And Bernard was his uh, she, last name? Uh huh. Okay. And and she was born she was born January twenty fifth, nineteen thirty five. Yeah. Nineteen thirty five. You had that already? I remember that, yes ma'am. 
And then in she, Oakland, Mississippi. Oakland, Mississippi. Uh -huh. Okay. And she came up right. to Chicago for beauty school, right? Right. Thank you, Auntie. She pursued, she, they said she pursued a, a beauty culture in, in 1954. I mean, she, she, she came for a, a beauty school. Okay. But then after 19, 1954, you know, her first daughter was born, uh, Betty Ann. Right. Okay. She uh, she uh, uh, she graduated from uh, beauty school in 1956. Okay. So, so, and on April 24th, 1957, uh, uh, she married Roy Lester Willie. That's your grandfather's full name. Right. Okay. Roy Lester Willie. Mm -hmm. You're like a detective, Auntie Pat. You got all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> I just got some information. Yeah, okay. this is helpful. So I'll take this and I'll start to add it to my list of information and maybe gather some more mm -hmm. questions and I'll be able to call you again. Yeah, okay, because I got some, you know, I got some information about uh, their brother and their grandmother. Oh, go for it. I'd love to hear it. Okay, well, okay. Uh, her brother, uh, I told his name was Marshall, but I noticed on the funeral program it's got Marshall Sonny Boy Moore. I need to call Lena Me and see is, is it is it? But but in the in the obituary they got Marshall, so I don't know whether that was a misspell. I don't know. Okay. But I know they all I always knew his first name was Marshall. Okay. And that's Uncle and, Sonny's uh, full name, Marshall Sonny Boy. Uh, more, more, and 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 uh, he died of uh, September fifteenth, twenty seventeen. The same year Christine died, but only it was like a month difference. Like wow, it might have been a little bit more than a month. Let me see when it was. It was. It was close. Wow. It was really close. Mm hmm. And and he was born nineteen uh, June fifteenth. I'm sorry, June twelfth. 1937. Okay. In Hernando, Miss in Hernando, Mississippi. That says to the son of the late Elicious and Cora Lee Moore Bernard. Okay. Mm. And they was raised by their auntie named Josie Mix. Did you know about Aunt Josie? No, ma'am. Aunt Josie was the one that raised uh, John 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 Tom John Moore. Okay. And she raised uh, m m Jimmy, and she raised Christine wow. and Sonny Boy, because their mother had died. You know, right. their mother died. Uh, see, okay, their mother died. Let me see. Uh, I think it was nineteen fifty-two. Let me see. I saw it somewhere. Let me see. I don't see. I did see it somewhere. I know she died in 1952. That's the same year my mother died, 1952. Wow. Mm hmm But Aunt Josie raised Granny, Uncle Sonny, and Uncle, mm -hmm. Uncle Boozy, too, then, huh? Right. Okay. And Aunt and, Josie and, raised Uncle John when he stayed in Mississippi. Yeah, uh, okay. When he came to Chicago, he was staying with Aunt Josie, too. Aunt Josie was cooking for him and everything. Okay. So, so Aunt so Josie's in Chicago? Uh-huh. She was, uh -huh, was living in Chicago. And, and, uh, and, her, and uh, Christine and her uh, grandmother's house, uh, Mabel Raber. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. She she died in nineteen. Uh, well, they had a film in in, uh, in nineteen seventy nine. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to see. Yeah, she was. Uh, let me see. She was a Martin. I, I don't know how those names got together down south. People did things different, but her name was Mabel Tellus. Uh uh uh. Let me see. She was a third child born to Mr. and Mrs. Harry Martin. On December 12, 1898, in Scobie, Mississippi. That's their grandmother. Wow. 
And what was her name again? Her name was, okay, her name was Mabel Raven when she died, but okay. she was born, uh, she was born Mabel Tellus Raven. Uh, she was the third third child of Mr. and Mrs. Harry Martin. So she had to be Mary Ma Mabel Martin. I don't know whether she didn't care that name or what happened. Okay. But I know she married this man called uh, Mr. Marshall Tellus of Charleston. Okay. Uh, so so I, I see two couple of names here. Maybe you can uh, text me or take some pictures of it and send it to me. What, the uh, obituary? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay, then. I have I, I have it did. Oh, okay, you want, okay, you just want hers? Um, or all the ones you have would be great if you can. Yeah, I got Granny's, I got hers, I got Jimmy's brother, and I got uh, Christine's son, uh, 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 Tony. I can even get Betty Ann, and I can get... Uh, I can get, I got burps. I got wow. most of them, you know, because yeah. I, I knew all of them, you know, after I've been in the family a long time, I knew, you know, I, I met them, you know, I knew them all but because when I met your, your uh, mother, mm -hmm. you know, it was just her and Tony and, uh, and, and Betty Ann, because Mia, because, uh, uh, Mia wasn't born then. Because okay. Mia was born two days, Mia was born uh, two days after we got married. Wow. See, what happened was, in 1970, okay, we got married July 11, and her son, uh, and then uh, Christy, okay, she came to our, you know, I didn't have a wedding, we just had the family, and then we had a large reception, mm -hmm. but that was a Saturday, and that Sunday, her husband, Roy Lester, had his company picnic that Sunday, and that Monday, Mia was born. I told Christine wow. she was too busy that weekend, so Mia come out of there. Wow. On the, on, 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 and Mia was born July 13th on a Monday. I know very well when Mia was born because I had went to work and come back and Christine and had the baby. I wow. said, Lord. That's why. And Mia was so right. And Mia was so little until she had to put her in a in a, a dresser drawer. She was so tiny. Really? <laughs> she, and so I, I I bought her first uh uh uh, uh Easter basket. The Easter basket was, was bigger than Mia. I still think I still got that picture too. It was, but Mia was so little. Wow. <laughs> it was so little. That must have been a sight so to I, see. I, so I told Mia, I said, well, you can all, if we get too old and can't remember how long we've been married, we can always go by your age. <laughs> so, so Mia would be 52 in July because we'd be married 52 years in July on, wow. on the 11th. And she was born at 13. Wow. So, so I got um, uh, you know, information on them, and so I don't I know where I can get it because my brother keeps all this stuff too. Okay. So. Wait, and wait, you hold a minute. go for it. Hello. Okay. You. Uh, can I call you right back? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Anything else you want, it, just give me a call, and then you can catch me mostly on Thursday because we be at the church on Wednesdays a lot of times. Okay, and sounds anything, good. Anything, if I can't, if I don't have information, I think I might can find. Now, only thing that I got stuck on was this. Roy had, he had sisters, but my husband, well, I know, uh, I know one of them, his sister was named, uh, his sister, he had a sister, he had, let me see. Oh, he had three sisters, Maddie Brown, Pearl Miller, that's who I really knew, and okay. Lucille Muldrew. But um, I know Pearl Miller had, you know, she had children and grandchildren, but I, we lost contact because one of her daughter's name was Patricia, too. Mm. So that's how I kind of kind of knew Pearl. But with them... I can, you know, maybe give you a name and maybe you can look it up some kind of way and maybe you can contact somebody in their right. family because I know, I know some of their family members because some of them was around my age and I think some of them was around Terry's age, you know? Right, so right. So I know some of them got to be living, some of her first cousins. Okay. So that's Terry's first cousins that, you know. That, yeah, so anyway. Okay. This okay. is really helpful. Okay, did Auntie I Pat? give you...
enough information today? You gave me more than enough. I'm, I'm elated to have this info, and I'm so glad that I could record it too, and I can took notes, and I'm gonna keep it. And um, I, I and just I'm, remembered I never sent you everybody's phone numbers, so I'll send it to you in Facebook Messenger so you can save them to your phone, so you have them. Yeah. Yeah, Mo. Come and wave at Aaron. He was out here for the. I can't hear you. Oh, I'm here. I can't. Okay, Mo. Come here. <laughs> you there watching TV or something? Uncle Boozy. Yeah, Uncle Boozy, come and wave at your knee. Hey, Uncle hey. Boozy. How are you? I'm doing good, sir. How are you doing? Okay. You're looking great. Good. <laughs> okay, sweet. We love you. So whatever I can do to help the family, I don't mind. Sounds good. We thank you so much, Auntie Pat. And I'll be in touch with you, and I'll call you again sometime soon. And kiss kiss Terry for me. I will. I'm going to see her uh, nec this next Friday. I'm going to see her next week, so I'll make sure I kiss her for you. And, and Erica and, and that sweet baby, I'm, I'm going to get a hold of them jaws. She yep. got them. They're so fat. <laughs> They're so inviting. Yeah. <laughs> so you right. take care now, sweetie. Love you. I love you too. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.